Growing up in this neighborhood, we had so many friends just running around and we were always constantly outside and with a ball, soccer, we, any ball, kind of ball we could find, we would find a game to play with it. I would always pitch to David and Abel. They would just hit me all the time. We used to grab two water bottles and squeeze them together, put them in a plastic bag and then wrap tape around it when we couldn't find anything else. We just call it tape balls because we didn't have a name for it. So we'd have a bat, that ball, and we just bare hand, just throw it as hard as we can to each other and try to hit it. Desde que estaban chiquitos, que agarran cualquier deporte, no importa cualquier deporte que les guste a ellos, no más que no quería que anduvieran en la calle haciendo drogas o pintando las calles. Yo cuando ya empezaron a a ganar más trofeos y trofeos, yo me sentía bueno estamos haciendo algo bien. A lo mejor estamos haciendo algo bien en la en la vida de ellos. Por eso. Ever since then, I just found the love for baseball. I'm pretty sure all I remember is that Ethington Theater. The theater, I remember seeing that, and then the church, obviously, and then the baseball stadium, and that was pretty much all I would look at. And I still thought it was the coolest thing ever, just because at Alhambra, our stadium, or our field wasn't like that. I would go watch the games on the big yellow benches, and sit there, I'd get to go into the dugout when we had the camps or when Stank would invite me over. I would literally be there every home game and I would just see like the atmosphere and everything, all the players, the coaches, I would always talk to them and I would just love it there. Ya cuando fueron al, al cuando le llamaron del GCU primero al David, yo cuando miraba el GCU decía, oh, ojalá y un día venga un hijo mío aquí, pero se me hacía mucho, se me hacía mucho para... <laughs> ya cuando le llamaron dije, Okay, los sueños se cumplen. <laughs> ya vivíamos en esta casa cuando cuando me di cuenta de que íbamos a trabajar allí en el en el estadio de los de básquetbol y le dije yo a mi patrón me preguntó que si que si tenía que si tenía hijos sí le digo van aquí a la Alhambra ¿no? okay. y, y, y ya cuando acabamos todo en el en más o menos como en el en el año que te dijeron a ti que fueras para allá y le dije yo a mi a mi a mi jefe que le habían te habían hablado el GCU para que fueras a, a jugar y él estaba estaba alegre porque dice, oh, dice vamos a hacer más trabajo allí y te vas a poder decir tú a tu hijo que tú trabajaste allí en, en, el, en el GCU I think it was my junior year is when they offered me and I was like this is I can't not take this like it's so close to my family and then it just became a four year thing and it was probably the best four years of my life. I didn't start really getting good until my senior year. David came up to me like, do you want to call, go to college? I was like, yes. He was just like, all right, you gotta work hard. I had this one club game. Uh, I hit like 90 miles per hour the first time ever. And then my club coach from the Aggies, he was just like, you have like serious potential. You have everything to like go to the next level. So I just started taking it serious. Oh, two pitch. Got him! A legitimate big time fastball. Daniel Abidia, wow, you can't say enough about his debut performance. Me siento feliz porque los puedo ir a mirar cuando yo quiero y pueden venir a comer a su casa cuando ellos quieren y necesito algo como lo que sea, un raite o lo que sea, le hablo, hey David, puedes venir por mí o algo, o el Dani. Y, y me siento feliz porque está aquí cerquita y muy agradecidos con todos los coches de ahí porque se fijaron en ellos también. Y, yeah. Oh, bien contenta de que los tengo cerca, que no se me tuvieron que ir para otra parte. I know my mom and dad wanted to see me though, just keep playing here. It was just nice kind of giving back to them and being close. I think family is the most important thing ever. que significan todo para mí.